time now for the blog of the day. Sylvia. Now, there's been some heated online debate here following the news that a U.S. telecommunications company has been fined for paying millions of dollars in bribes to Chinese officials. UT Starcom, a maker of telecommunications equipment, has agreed to pay $3 million in fines to settle civil and criminal charges with federal regulators. The Securities and Exchange Commission said the company's China subsidiary paid nearly $7 million between 2002 and 2007 for 225 overseas trips by employees of its customers. The trips were purportedly for training, but regulators say many of them were to tourist destinations like Las Vegas and Hawaii. The commission also accused the companies of spending more than $4 million on expense pay programs for Chinese government customers at U.S. universities. The case of UT Starcom has not gone unnoticed here in China. In today's blog of the day, we look at a post by newspaper columnist Shang Dalin, who's written a blog about this on the popular news portal iPhone.com. Well, Xiong starts off by pointing out that UT Starcom is not the first U.S. company to have been accused of paying bribes in China. He cites the examples of telecommunications firm Lucent USA, manufacturer Avery Dennison and Siemens, businesses that have all been caught bribing their Chinese partners. Xiong says all these companies ended up getting in trouble, but nothing happened to the bribe takers here in China. He argues that given that the U.S. government has publicized these cases and they have been covered in the media. The Chinese government must also have known what went on. Shang points out that the Chinese government has made a great play of setting up anti-corruption hotlines and websites for people to report corruption and bribery. But he says they then ignore information from the U.S. that could be used to bring bribe takers here to justice. Now, Sheng's post has had thousands of hits and has triggered a lot of online commentary. Here's what a couple of those commentators had to say. The first um, comment says the reason this is happening to big state-run companies companies is that they monopolize the industry. They take up too many resources and don't have to compete. One other post is saying the government needs to tell the public who's taking the bribes. That's the best way, this person says, to prevent future corruption. Right. Now do stay with us. We'll be right back with Straight from the Street.